Welcome back, everyone! This is Jaronitis bringing you Pandemicraft. Today, we're starting on episode... Uh... 19. 19! Thank you! Hey. <laughs> I was just say we're starting on episode... Uh... No. Alright, so last time we got started on Botania. And today, we are playing with... And I get a headache. Seriously, the, like, the last episode I walked up to you and got a headache. Are you, like, passing out headaches? Maybe. Anyway. I'm as cold as ice, you know. And now I have 31 seconds of flux flu. Uh-huh. Now you oh. have flux flu. I have had the flux flu to begin with. Oh, so that's how I got it. Nice. Uh-huh. You, you and this stuff. Okay, so anyway. Here we are on the Batania level. Um... As we said at the end of the last episode, we were going to build in the Batania level. Renshin has built onto the tree, doing a very nice job of it. Uh, we added in a couple of little decorations. Uh, basically, we have some living wood pattern stuff and some living wood with... Um... Oh, it's time. It's time. I'm sorry. I'm uh... in this corner. <laughs> As with last episode, I will randomly get withered because Renshin looks at me and being an accomplished thaumaturge, uh, that being having done the research in thaumcraft, she is going to be causing problems with withering. So ignore it. It's her. It's okay. We're moving on. Okay, so the glimmering living wood, as you see there, is just a piece of living wood with glowstone dust. So that's not a big deal. Um, also, we have the pattern framed living wood, which is just the living wood planks in the four square like this. And that makes these cute little things here at the intersections. And of course, we just have the dirt. Uh, now, the dirt, needs to be uh, the dirt needs to be turned to grass, but Wrenchin tells me that we have a way to do that as well. So mm -hmm. let's go on downstairs and we'll see how much mana we've generated. Ooh, cool. My, my living rock is like ready to be harvested too. All right, so we need better mana generation because, like, horrible, horrible things. Um, the, 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 the other stuff is so ungodly, horribly slow. So, yeah, we're just barely touching anything. All right, so the solar ones, that's really good. You know, you get started with them. They're easy enough to make. So what we need to do now is upgrade. Um, so we're going to be looking into what now, Renshin? What we will need is... It's the, the end of flames, flame. right? Yes, that's probably the best way to go for a second flower of generation. Okay, so it's There's basically a furnace that makes mana. mana. Yes. Also, an honorable mention goes to the nightshade, which is basically the day bloom, but in reverse, that it will generate mana at night. But it's still as though with the day bloom, so we should get a tear up. Okay, an end of flame will not burn anything that returns a byproduct. Okay, so you can't use lava buckets. Yep. So okay. you probably should just drop coal or coal blocks onto it. Yeah, well, wood or wooden swords. Just basically anything that can be consumed in a vanilla furnace and not leave anything behind when it's done burning. Yes. All right, cool. So since this is so slow, let's see. We need to make... Um... Mana pebbles. That's the okay. thing we didn't do before. Mystical. Okay, so we need gray, brown, and red, but these are brown mana petals instead of just mystical red petals. So we need yep. brown, gray, and red. So let's get some of these together real quick. Um, okay, wait a minute. Um, brown, red, and gray. Gray. We're probably going to need a couple more red. You don't have any red? No, no, no. I don't have any the the petals. I'm I'm pulling flowers and making petals. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna need two red, two brown, and one gray. Yep. Okay, so that's enough for two. You know, we're gonna make a little bit more than that because I'm an more impatient. More generation person. is more generation. Exactly. Okay, so. Boy, right. can you repeat that? More generation is more generation. Well, I thought you said. Okay, so we're going to make four endo flames. So that means we need 
8 red, 8 brown, and 4 gray. 4 gray, 8 brown, and 8 red. Okay. I'm going to make some too. I think 4 is probably going to be enough, but if you want to make them, that's fine. Man, more. It needs more. Well, we need to not use up too much of the mana, so let's make sure we make enough for one first. So, True. Now, what you were telling me is that for the mana petals, we drop the petals in mana? Yes. Can I drop them all at once, or do they have to be dropped, like, one at a time, or...? They should be dropped all at once, but the thing is that um, you just need one mystical and one mana, so don't drop all the petals you have, just half of it. Right. Okay, so that made four of one and four of another, and cool, and they just drop back right in my, into my inventory. Sweet, so now I throw them in here, right? Yep. Oh, wait, I need seeds process. again, right? Just like before? Yes. It's the same process. All right. You only can... drop paddles infused with mana in, which is, you know, not a huge deal, I think. Okay, so... So we drop that, 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 and then that. Mm -hmm. Why didn't that work? Maybe you didn't do it right. I've got a red, a red mystic, a brown, a brown mystic, and a gray. Red mana. Red normal, brown mana, brown normal, and a light gray. Uh, I'm using normal gray. Great. How do I get these back? Or are they lost to me now? If you break the petal apothecary, all the petals you put in are going to be returned to you. Okay, cool. Looks like you broke your apothecary as well. Yep, I took gray as well. Ha! <laughs> well, at least we both did it. Well, derp. Stuff happens. Light gray. How annoying. Okay, so let's try this again without the... Ooh, hey, there's no water in there now. Yep. Needs okay. another bucket. Alright, so... One, two, three, four... Five, five, and a seed. God, that drives me nuts. <laughs> oh, that and the fact that it doesn't automatically refill itself. Yep. All right, so one, two, three, four, five seed hey that works cool so um well yeah that doesn't really matter does it no it doesn't sweet so yeah this is actually gonna work out really nicely so what were you telling me while we're doing this about the um the flower the the, the seeds the grass we're gonna do grass and yep there's a thing called pasture seeds in the botania mod and if you place that on dirt it will grow grass if you excuse me for a minute i must sleep in the sky ah because why not <laughs> because it's funny yay i slept while flying i am a talented to be person fair you're a fairy so you can do that I have a cleaver, and you, well, would survive it, so whatever. Tee -hee. As, uh, that, that's, that's what I have to endure because I play with people who are funny, and I thought it would be a good idea to let them <coughs> choose the kind of wings I was going to have. So anyway, that being said, what are we doing now? The pasture we seeds? We are getting pasture seeds. If you look it up inside your uh, Lexica Britannia... It is, Where is tall it? grass dropped into a mana pool. Where is the... Oh, well, if it's just tall grass dropped into a mana pool, we can just do that real quick. 
Yep, that's um, why I'm getting some right now. I was about to say, you got any tall grass around here? I found some. Never I was about mind. to say, I, I made it a I'm point. Back. Let's drop some. Drop. And do you want to drop some too? No, go ahead. So you can see how it looks like? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Seeds. What just happened? Oh. Did you get it? No, I, it's it's fine. I'm just... Okay, well, cool. Uh, yeah, pasture seeds. Awesome. All right, yep. so this doesn't seem to actually take a whole lot to do. Uh, how much mana do we have left? Oh, wow. We've barely used any of that mana. Oh, so I guess that was enough generation for the beginning now. Yeah, well, I guess we used, we used about half of it. So, I mean, that's not oh. too bad at all. But for now, with the flowers we made, we're going to make a lot more mana in a lot shorter period of, of time. Indeed. All right, cool. So... Um, I guess now, well, actually, let's fly up real quick and show them the pasture seeds at work, and then we'll take a break real quick while we move all the stuff downstairs up here to the actual Batania level. Yep. All right, so what do we do with these? Just uh, right-click them? Right-click. Oh, cool little particle effects. Oh, wow, that was incredibly fast. Yep. We should probably have broken the wood in between, and oh, well. Why? This is so simple to do. True. And we only made one less than we actually needed. Oh, well, no, actually, there's still some over here. But still, that's uh, actually really cool. I like that. I'll just have it spread over there. Not really necessary to do anything special here. Ta-da. Shouldn't this be working like incredibly fast? This is supposed to like spread like instantly. There, it's working over here. Kinda. And whatever, okay. So we're gonna take a break real quick. We're gonna move the stuff downstairs, upstairs, and then we will get the endo flames. Endo flames? Did I say that right? Endo flames. Endo flames going, producing us some mana, and then we'll get some really fun stuff going. So we'll be back in just a minute while we move stuff upstairs. All right, we're back. We've moved some stuff upstairs. We've got the petal apothecaries here and here uh, for now. We we'll really don't need two of them, but eh, we had two, so we placed two. We built ourselves an infinite water source here to keep them full. We've got our pure daisies for making living wood and such here. We've got three crafting tables for some unknown reason, and we're going to go ahead and get some stuff put together. Um... Basically, we're going to go ahead and put out some endo flames. Uh, since we've never set these up before, we're going to do it real quick like this. Uh, that leaves us with those. We have one extra, I believe. Where did I do with it? I don't know. I thought we had an extra, but apparently we're not. Anyway, so those will start generating mana when we drop uh, something that will burn like this on them. A block of coal is going to function very nicely now. Nothing's happening. Did you pick it up too fast? I didn't pick up anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe because we haven't placed the mana spreader yet? Maybe. I don't know if they won't generate or if they don't have a place to for the mana to go. Alright, well, place let's. Place the mana spreader in pool. And actually, I'm going to place three pools because I want to uh, I want to fill up three pools. But ah. we need, we need, you said there was something else that would let it fill all three pools at once. Yep. Um, you might want to place them one further down because the, the mana needs one block to travel. Oh, it does? Yep. At least that's what I have gathered from my experiences. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I've set stuff up wrong on two now, so... Eh, possibility. And since, of course, we are green... It's a green thing. It's a green thing. Sweet. Okay. So that means now we have the spreader. Now we have the pool. So we should be able to make the endo flames work. Hopefully. They don't. Ah. Ah, there it goes. The nice little particle effects. They take, I think, as long as a furnace would take to burn that fuel. So they'll 
have quite a thing to chew on on those coal box. Indeed. So that's awesome. Oh wow! Look, it's already uh, it's pulsing like a lot. Yep. These generate enough mana, as you can see. Okay, sweet. So they are all generating. Sweet. So now we'll put the extra coal blocks over here. Okay, we need to sleep and stop the rain because it's causing lag issues. Yep, I have my sleeping bag right here. Oink. I'm already in line. Ah, uh -uh, now we're both sleeping. Indeed. With a suitable space between us because, you know, my wife and all. <laughs> anyway, ah! And then I get withered. <laughs> Alright, cool. So... I'll, I'll just... I'll just start standing here in the corner. <laughs> Alright, so it's showing a pretty good amount of mana. Oh, wow. It shows the mana spreader is full. Ah. Is it... Okay, whatever. So what we need to do is get the... What is it we need to make to make it so it goes to all three pools? The mana distributor. Okay, and where is that found? Mana that manipulation? Mana manipulation. Ah, mana distributor. There we go. And that requires living rock and ma oh mana steel. Mana steel is iron in a pool of mana. Yep. Very okay. simple. Everything that has mana on it is probably dropped into mana pool. All right. Well, I didn't bring it. any iron, so let me run downstairs and get some real quick. Okie dokie. Ah, if you have all of them running, not every everyone is emptying apparently. You I need, think you will the mana spreader mana can't. Spreader. Yeah, I was about to say the mana spreader can't take it. Can we make extra mana spreaders? I think so. I don't know how they would connect to the end of things though. If they would compete for you know the mana inside of the end of things. I okay. only ever had one on my generating setup. You can drop blocks of iron as well, you know. Well, I didn't figure we have enough mana for that. So That's cool. So we as much as you could. Yeah. So we have eleven mana steel. Is that what? That's the two. armor you're wearing, isn't it? Mana steel. Yes. This is a mana steel armor. I was about to say because last time you were wearing purple stuff, which was made of pink. what? Pink uh, is elementium, but that is a ways down the road for you. But this is what you could make. It's basically if you have a mana tablet on you, which we're going to be making soon, is using mana instead of durability, which is useful. Alright, so I can make three mana distributors, but I should only ever need one, right? You should only ever need one. Okay, so and now I can put in this. The middle. Cool. Down, it will distribute the mana between those three. Okay, so now, is it emptying faster because it's going to three places? No, it will only have... No, it is! The mana yeah, spreader is. is emptying. Hmm... So that's cool. So that's actually going to keep the end of flames all emptying out. Cool. Sweet. So now Why we can run all think... the end of flames, and it's not. So we don't need a better managed spreader now. We're just actually just moving that much more mana. Cool. I like I that. I didn't think it would do that because I thought the mana that was produced, you know, that has been distributed in one burst is always the same, but apparently it is not. Well, it's going back and forth between having some and not having some. So, But either way, that's cool. So now we have plenty of mana. All right, so what yep. is the next thing we want to build? The next thing you want to build is probably have a look at all the baubles and accessories or stuff in natural apparatus that you may be wanting. Like, some of the rings and stuff are very, very useful. For example, there's a ring that will generate a small amount of mana, and there's a ring that will stall mana for you. Well. Why do I need to store mana on my person? Because if you, for example, if you use this mana steel armor, it, as I said, it will use mana to, uh, instead of durability, to, you know, be not broken. And if you have that mana on you, on a tablet or a ring, it will use that from that source. And if you have a ring that generates a bit of mana, you may not ever need to recharge it even. So that's probably a thing you might want. Huh. 
There's also a bunch of tools and with you can make with mana steel, which are you know as good as iron tools, but won't break if oh, you yeah. have mana on you. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so let's see. I've already got the ring of mag magnetization because you made it for me. That's why we got started in Batania in the first place. You gave me these baubles a while back, and I finally just got to the point where I had to know where they came from. Yep. Yeah, so well, cool. That was that would be a thing we would make, you know, if you wouldn't have them already. Let's see. It requires a mana lens of magnetizing, and then the mana steel. Mana steel is easy to make. Shift yep. click to see recipe. Mana lens, iron, and gold, and a mana lens is just mana steel and a pane of glass. Okay, so that actually isn't that hard to make at all. Yep. So all right, cool. You, so as, as we should probably you... make the band of aura and the band of mana so we can start storing stuff on me. Yes, that is probably a thing we want to do. Okay. So what a you will rune see... of mana. Yes, that is the next thing we need oh, to do. Oh, that requires something else. That requires the runic altar, so that is the next thing we will set up. Okay, runic altar requires mana pearl or mana diamond. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we have to drop a diamond into the mana. Either a diamond or an ender pearl. Well, ender pearls are a lot easier to come by. Let me go grab some of those. Yeah, you should probably get some diamonds and ender pearls, and because you will need some of those for crafting. So having those on hand here is probably <laughs> not a bad idea. I only have 15 ender pearls and I have stacks of diamonds. Oh wow. Well, I have a whole barrel of ender pearls. I don't know, 2000 or something. So, whatever, do as you wish. Well, I'm bringing diamonds as well. There it is. I got to use my elevator to find my way around. I keep blundering. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use, you know what? Let's just use the diamonds since I have those more available at the moment. Okay. Just drop one. Ah, by the way, I think the ender flame's finished cooking. So I'm gonna drop some more coal. Oh wow, that was faster than I expected, but still made lots of mana, so that's pretty cool. Yep, I'm gonna drop more while you will be doing the crafting for a runic altar. And what you will need is a second mana spreader, by the way, so get a Ooh. second mana spreader. Oh, I have a second mana spreader. Ah. Then you will need that one. Cool, okay, so... Runic altar, runic altar. Here it is. Make me this. Sweet. Okay, so what's the deal with the runic altar? How does it work? What do you do with it? Does it have to be close to mana, away from mana? It has to be shot at with mana, so that's why you need a second mana spreader. It has to be shot at with mana? Yep, you will need to have a mana spreader looking at it. Oh, okay. Just like with the mana pools over here. Well, that's not and hard that to And that mana all. spreader needs to be adjacent to the mana pool so it can draw from it. Oh, so we're, we can't just draw straight from the Ender Flames? Uh, you could. You only you you would need to place the um. That thing, the mm, Runic Altar, instead of where the mana distributor is now. So you could do that, but you would lose the excess mana in that. If you just place, you know, a mana spreader adjacent to that mana pool, it will use the mana that is in the mana pool to fuel the Runic Altar. It needs to be adjacent to the mana pool. Oh, I thought you said, well, there needs to be a space in between for mana to flow. But for it to get to the mana pool, it needs to be adjacent. You know, the burst form needs a block to travel. Oh! I, uh, do you get it, maybe, I think? <laughs> well, you, you, you need to be more specific, I guess. I'm Meh. sorry. That's all right. Okay, so hmm, this might require some rearranging later. But for um, now, we're going to go ahead and put this. Are you getting really bad lag right now, or is this just me? It's a bit laggy. Not too much. Okay, so yep, that's that should fine. Work. It will only draw mana to the runic altar if the, mana re if the runic altar requests mana. Let me just... Ah, I want to place it in the middle, because my my creative senses are tingling with it's too... If it's Kind of like that? Not, yes. Yeah, I, I, I was going to do that as well. Okay, so <laughs> now we want to make... The Rune of Mana, I guess. Yeah, Rune of Mana, which is five Mana Steel and a Mana Pearl. Oh, well, you know, I needed a Mana Pearl anyway. Yep.
I made eight. Yep. And how you craft it is you right click the ingredients on the runic altar. It will have a nice effect. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, I and did it. And then you right click it with the wand of the forest to tell it I'm done. And it will draw mana. Ooh, cool. It made like a little noisy thing. And as you can see, it will now draw mana from the mana pool, as you see. Hopefully there's enough mana in the mana pool. If not, it will wait. Oh, look, there's little lightning strikes. Ah, that means it's done. If it's done, you drop a mana living rock. I dropped it in front of you. Just drop it on the on the altar and shift right click on the altar. With the wand of the forest. Okay, that seems a bit excessive, but... Yes, it is. But there you go. Okay, cool. So now we can make... A band of aura. Here. Or mana. Band of mana. Rune of mana. One, band two, of three, four... And that. Band of aura. Alright, it says, equip in the ring slot, press B to open the bauble slot. I know how to do that. I've done that before. Okay, cool. So, how do I know how much mana it has? It is the generating one, so it's not storing any. You will need the storing one to know how much mana it has. And so for that's the, the band of one, the mana. Band of mana. You will need a mana tablet, but that's not too hard to make. You I was know about to say, what to is a mana stuff. tablet? Oh, okay. Hey, I can actually make that stuff like right now. Yep. Because I actually have all that stuff on me. I knew there was a good reason to make extra of the pearls of glowiness. Yep. Okay, so there's the mana tablet, but the problem is now I don't have any more mana steel. Well, you can drop even more iron into the thing. Wow. Holy crap, I can make a lot of this stuff. <laughs> this don't is actually kind of fun. The mana. Yeah, but I'm currently generating mana anyway, so. Okie dokie. All right, so I've got 28 mana steel now. So yeah, mana steel is not that hard to make at all. <laughs> nope, getting mana steel armor is not a big deal, and mana steel tools. And if you have the band of aura and the band of mana, you can, you know, have a lot of mana on you, and you can use that stuff without having it, you know, use durability. Awesome. It's raining again. That's why it's daggum laggy again. Well. Another time to sleep, I guess? I guess. I wonder why it's raining again. I don't know. There might be rain plant seeds growing somewhere, causing it to start raining again in abnormally frequent times. <laughs> okay, so when I look at my baubles... When I look at my baubles... Thank you. Okay, so... It has... The Band of Mana has a thousand damage on it. So I'm guessing that I'm not... Uh, generating very much mana. Not very really much. It's not very much. If you want to charge it faster, you can fast uh, charge it on a mana pool. I can charge For what? That, the ma the band of mana, the, the the one that stores mana. You can charge it up with mana from a pool. Well, let's try that. We just yep. drop it on it. Well, yes, but you will need to change the mode it is in. If you hold the wand of the forest over a mana pool, no, it's then doing you it. Say, it is accepting mana from items. So oh, right hey, stop sucking drawn. mana out of my items. Ah. And now it is sparing mana to items. And oh, wow. Quick. Pretty well emptied that thing out. Yep. You can do that with all your things if you want to. And that is a way to... And I got it. And that is a way to transport mana as well. Get mana tablets and, you know, get mana into tablets and get it to another... Mana pool. Okay, so now it has a damage of 876. So, yay! We are now yep. storing mana. That's pretty cool. So, why and do I, I want said, mana on my person again? There was a reason for that? As I said, you could use mana steel tools, and instead of using your durability, it will use mana. Or later, you can get um, baubles that use mana to do things like, for example, flying. 
Whee. Hey, the endo flames are done again. You can drop more coal onto them. And I've seen that they have quite a bit of range, so you can probably just drop uh, eight coal at once and it will be distributed among them. Really? Yes. Well, down. Not on top of the thing. Oh, well, maybe it, maybe it will. Cool, that's awesome. I was trying to like piece it together at the right exact spot. All right, cool. So we now have mana. Uh, it's being spread. We're creating items. We're now storing mana on my own person. We have the runic altar used to make all kinds of fun stuff there. This is a great place to end the episode. Okie dokie. Because there is much more to cover, though. I was about to say, we are out of time, so we'll definitely have to get into some more of this stuff. In between episodes, I am going to keep these things going, and I'm going to fill these mana pools because I want to. And is that possible? Yep, you can have a mana pool completely filled. That but... will be necessary for a crafting later, so it oh, is really? a good thing you want to have mana pools filled. Okay, well, we're going to have to see about this, because I don't know, this is not generally, I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't take that much mana to do the stuff we're doing now, but my understanding is it's going to take a lot more down the road, so we're going to have to come up with an even, even, even more efficient way of doing this. Um... And I think I have an idea, a little cross-mod interaction that might do some good for us here. But we'll get into that here after a while. So until next time, this is Jerenitis signing off on episode 19, you said? 19. 19 of Pandemicraft. Like me if you like me. Subscribe if you want to see what I get into next. And leave some comments for Renchen. She's uh, enjoying being the teacher, and I want to encourage that. So you should encourage her too. And until next time, help spread the gaming.